I've never felt like I belong here. The chaos and the rush makes it hard to breathe. The standards of society make me sick. Everyone points at each other and tells them what's wrong and what's right. No wonder I feel like an outcast sometimes. But here, things are different. For the longest time ever I felt like I need to do this, to unplug from everyday life and just listen to myself, to the things I want to do, to what places I want to go and well, that's why I chose to be here. This surreal place where you don't feel the everyday stress, where you don't hear others complaining, it's just you and the nature. And as you know, it's not always on your side. Ironically, I feel more comfortable here than back in the city, because even a bad day of hiking is a day you will remember. It's hard to explain why I'm so obsessed with it. It's beyond just the natural beauty. It's the feeling of not being interrupted. It's the sound or the lack of it. It's the smell of the forest, the wind, the water. This really is a paradise for me. Time is relative. It ticks slower here. The days seem to drag on for longer. For me, that meant more appreciation towards the little things. You know, when you're back home, you never really look at where you live or the food that you eat. Things just happen and I can see how someone can become ungrateful or unhappy. But when you're out here alone for a week or two, it's hard not to think about the comfort of your home, the warmth of a hug, even getting a shower. I see all of these things now that I've never paid attention to before, which makes me want to spend more of my time here and ultimately makes me more grateful and more happy.
From a very young age, I had a fascination of spending time alone. That didn't mean I was sad or anxious. I enjoy not being told what to do. I like to create my own rules and be in this world that only I can understand. At first I thought that there is something wrong with me, that it shouldn't be this way, but the more I tried to fight it, the more I came to realize that I need to embrace the unusual and just be myself. So many of us have ideas that will seem ludicrous to everyone. Ideas that are the complete opposite of what is considered normal. It's ironic that the world always asks for everything new and original and at the same time rejects anything that does not follow common patterns or rules. The truth is that you're going to be judged either way, whether you live life on your own terms or not. They will call you quiet because you're perfectly happy in silence. They will call you weak because you avoid conflict and drama. They will call you boring for not being an extrovert. They will call you wrong for having different beliefs. They will call you a loner because you're comfortable being on your own. They will call you lost for not following the same route as others. Let them call you what they want. You don't have to play the part they want you to play. Create your own and live. After all, I chose to be here because I feel free.